Hello and welcome everybody to yet another exciting episode of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CB Cubed. CB Cubed. CB Cubed. Like dude. cheese. Oh! Yeah. So when you think of the show, you think of like cheese. Like cheddar. Man, I could yeah. go for some cheese right now though. Like little crystals Same. and like the like the really sharp. Oh, tear. like in the parmesan or something. No, no, it's no, like no. it's like like little crystalline structures no, inside yeah. of like some some delicious cheese. <sighs> Sounds amazing. Should we get some cheese after this? Okay. All right. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week we will also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. And now, as ever, it is time for the Wheel of Energy! Where I think what you want is eyeball or grass, based yes. on last episode, I so know. let's see. Could change everything, let's see what we've got. Here we go, nice big spin today! Here we go, here we go, here we go! Uh, 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 uh. And we're in fire territory! Fireball! Yeah, that's Larry here we go. That's my boy! Yeah. Sorry, Glack. Glack, <laughs> you're so glack weak. Yeah, you're so glack weak. Yeah, that oh. barely works. There we go. Hey, Flareon, what's there up? There you pal? go. Boom! A little fist bump action for you. You want to let them know about the randomly chosen common chase cards? Today's randomly chosen common chase cards are going to be Shroomish, Extra, Shroomish, Excadrill, and Yamper. Yamper? Yes. I thought you said. I don't know what I thought you said. Hamper? 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 Like, hamper. Your, like, your, like where you put your dirty clothes. Your dirty clothes. Yeah. Like exactly what you could do with your Yamper. Um, just a quick update coming into the day because we had such interesting scores last week. The team score overall currently has Team Electric uh, coming off their win from last season in first place with 78 points, but with a lot of help from Big Steve, who already has all three packs. Then we've also got Team Water in a close second with 64 points, Woo! Team Grass with 34, and poor Team Fire Can't who are going to try to use the type advantage to sell in their inner strength. Right. They, they got Flareon today. They got Flareon. Back there. The mascot. Yeah, it was just 16 points for Team Fire. So let's kick things off with the one and only EK Sco. There we go. <laughs> we got it right. We have 37 contestants today, including four rookies in the field. And uh, what do we need to get into first place, Ben, to pass Big Steve? Yeah, let's see here. So we've got Big Steve currently in first place again. He has all three packs already open with 49, and then Annika in second place with 36 points. So Hilariously, if you got into first place right now, you'd be winning first place and the Big Steve Award. I know, not a bad place to be. Not, not a bad, a bad place, place to be. Melt on C. Shift Re Mortis Conviction, Bianca's Devotion, the Yamper will score, the Hoot Hoot will not, and Salvatore! Look at that EK Salvatore! Look at that guy. Hey! Kicking things off with the Salvatore. Number 202 on the set. Can you yeah, confirm that? For that me? is going to be 202, yes. 202! Uh, it's just a dollar fifty nine for no! Salvatore. So that is just gonna be a three point pack overall for EK Sco. EK Sco, well, well done. Welcome to the party. You got a full art. That's solid. No fire cards at all in that particular pack. Although we know they're in there. We know the at least the Litten line is in this set. Right. Yeah. Something. Something to be found there. Right. No chase cards or fire either. So no chance for like a double up point there. Let's see. Next up, we've got Alyssa. Alyssa from Team Fire. First of the day today. Let's see, can Alyssa put up some big points? Can we go back to back so big full art cards? Back to back full art cards, let's see, let's see. We got the Dark Teardrop, the Nuzleaf, the Mancino, the Rock Rough, the Litten will score, the Iron Treads, the Box Order does not do anything. I was like, hey, Box Order, and then I realized I made fun of it last week. Yeah. Uh, the Ribombi, the Torah Cat will score, the Pikachu will not, oh, and the, the Gengar! Gengar. Oh, we go. pulled one of those last week too. We did indeed, number 104 on the Don't set. Don't remember what it was worth. $1. 
22 cents, so, so it's gonna four be... four-point pack there for Alyssa! Not bad for Team Fire, oh, coming yeah. out of the day, firing on all cylinders. <laughs> yeah, hilarious. But can they land a Fireball Energy? Let's see, next up to try is Crafty Chick. And Crafty Chick gets some big points for Team Fire. Get them back in this race. I'm, I'm curious what Crafty Chick's crafts are. Like, like makes and sells leather and wood earrings. Wow, okay, that's go. pretty crafty. All right, we're so in a no salad more. energy. The Turtonator, Hoot Hoot Rapidash, Bolt on Mudsail, Metagross, Perilous Jungle, and Drampa. Okay, so three points. Three point pack for Crafty Chick there. We're seeing more more fire this week than I feel like we were seeing water last week. I know, yeah, we're already that. getting more uh, Pokemon on the field. Next up, we've got Gildruin. Gildruin for Team Grass. Yeah, Team also, Grass. Also looking to step it up a little bit. Get I mean, them pins. They were, they were deep in third, but Team Grass has <clears> been <throat> known to be competitive. Sporting their colors. Grass on the, grass. The Solosis, the Skitty, the Electabuzz, the Bramblin, the Bronzong, the Ancient Booster Energy Capsule, the Iron Treads, the Mel Metal oh, will, will score. score. The Cutie Fly will not, though, and the, the Flutter, Flutter Mane will. Uh, so just two points for Gildruin. There we go. And Team Grass. So maybe not exactly what they wanted to see this week Pretty here. Not. Don't forget your oh, salad energy yeah, there. Of course, take that but salad. you know, I think I think there's we're still so early in the season. There's plenty that can still happen. Oh man. There's I mean if this if this box is anything like last week's box, the, I mean the, plenty of points are left to be had. Yes, exactly, exactly. Right. Next up we've got Vicky for Team Water who's just been flooding the field so far. They really have. I mean the without consistent without anyway. big Steve's three packs there up they there. There they go again. Yeah, but the Type fire advantage. There it is. The Totodile, the Deerling, the Pidove, Pineco, Iron Jugulus, Lycan Rock, the Boring Salvador, the Slugma will score, the Dunsparce will not, and Maridon. Oh, so, but four, four points. Point pack. Four team water okay. taking taking advantage of their nemesis, which is which is fire. Well, like it's not really even their nemesis because they're pretty strong. Team Water is able to use fire to their advantage better than the other way around, right? Yeah, that's what it seems like. All right, next up is Beck Squad. Beck Squad with a little, a little bit of like a, kind of like a crumply looking pack here. I don't know what it is about, you know, like the, the pack itself having something done to it, but it makes me feel like it's it was unique. things. Yeah, like, like this pack, I, I can almost imagine somebody on the assembly line was like going through and they're like, I'm gonna tuck this one in manually. Right. Just, just manual You think so? It. That'd be yeah, crazy. Yeah. This is like, this. whoever gets this one, this one's gonna be a good one. This is gonna be a good one. Some, sure. Someone somewhere. The Shroomish will score. score. The Lickitung, the Charge a Bug, the Slugma, Slugma will, will score. score. The Future Booster Energy Capsule, the Iron Hands, the Rescue Board, the Drillbur will not score. The Lycanroc will not score. And the, the Coridon. Wow. Maybe Man. someone was trolling at the factory. Maybe they were. They were like, these people are gonna think it's gonna be something truly amazing and it's Instead, it's gonna be a three-point pack and a made-up game on the internet somewhere. Sliding in that Coridon, man. The Coridon sneaking into your DMs, you know. <laughs> here we go. Next up, we have Methy. Methy! Methy coming on. Methy's looking for a season here. They When they came into the game, they were doing all right. They had 9, 18, 15. Last couple of seasons, down to 4, 3. So, but they've been better comboing stuff together. So let's see. This is the start of the season. A three-pack season. Heatmore, Roly Coley. Azumarill, Cypher Maniac, Perilous Jungle, the Shaman, the Great Tusk will not score, and the Macargo is two points. Two points and three. Only a three point pack there, so that's uh, the second three point pack in a row for Methy, just going back to last season. We're not seeing anybody today kicking off with uh, with a one point pack so far, which is kind oh, of fascinating. Right. So. So maybe last week with the water types, it was a little, it benefited that last place run. It could have indeed, yeah. We're gonna have to find out, but I feel like if we can get, um, what is it, grass or psychic, it's gonna really like set things off. All right, then next up is Shadow Loop. Shadow Loop, hey! Now look, if anyone, if, if grass ever needed someone to do better, it's Shadow Loop. It's, okay, all right. You know? the Shadow Loop. We believe know? in you. Yeah, Shadow Loop is known for, for doing better. For underperforming, for performing below their potential. Th and that's all it is. And we it's know like, you can do better. We're not trying to be hard on them. We're, we just we just see it. We just see it deep inside of their soul. Plus, my current favorite contestant. So, right, yeah, so you got me said. Yeah. So we got the the giraffe rig, the Roselia, the cutie fly, the drill bur, the buddy buddy, buddy poppin. There, nice. there you go. That's doing We're talking better. About. That's exactly it. The zero aura. We got the sharpedo. The, we got the yes. Energy. Look at that. Wow. Boom. And a critical hit. Is it? No. Charger bug. Never mind. Wow. Charger bug. My no. Bad. Yeah. No. It's okay. It's okay. And the Macargo. You know right, what so. though? I like what you did there. You put together a creative set of points here. Yes, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, six seven. seven. Way Shadow to go. Way Shadow. to go. Okay, we know, we know now officially that Shadow Loop is hearing us. Someone is doing their morning affirmations. Yes, you know? yeah, yeah. 
kind of like just getting all that mindfulness in there, mm -hmm. you know, just getting ready for it, just knowing that this is not a game of complete and utter pure chance. It is a game of skill. Exactly. And you gotta wake up in the morning, look yourself in the mirror, and say, I can do better. I can do better. Clearly, Shadowloop is putting in the work. All right, now speaking of, now maybe Ratlark, our next contestant and our first rookie of the day can learn something from Shadow Loop. All right, Ratlark. Let's see. Let's see. I think you're up. Let's see. Oh, this is this is this is a couple, as okay. it turns out. The name is a combo of their last names. They just started collecting Pokemon carbs. Oh, carbs, Pokemon carbs, Pokemon carbs. Can you imagine <laughs> all the Pokemon cookies? They're putting down the poffins, you know. Man, I'll tell you right now. If they if they sold Pokemon cookies, I'd probably buy them. Dude, do you remember when they had the Pokemon Oreos? Oh, actually, in fact, yeah. I do. And I think you, I did. Did you pull a Mew. I think you did. I think I did. Yeah. 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 Yeah, the the rare Pokemon. The, the rare, yeah, <laughs> they they were good. I got PSA graded. It's right. People did do that. Did they well, really? They got that. Yeah, I think so. Bramble, Sandy Shocks, the Hand Tremor, Rapska, the Mud Bray, the Iron Valiant will score, and the Roaring Moon. So two scoring cards, but only two points. For their efforts, a rat lark. Uh, they're, gonna have to, they're gonna have to share the points what's, between them. What's kind of cool is that you got a future and an ancient, and you got your uh, because your uh, future card was the reverse hollow. You get that cool effect on it, so that's neat. You gotta love it. You gotta yeah. love it. There but anyway, go. so as, just like last week with Conrad kicking off the rookie of the day um, contest at two points, rat lark kicks it off with two points again. Here we go. Next up, we have Herbert Chorley. Herbert Chorley, who's you know acting, acting the duck. Exactly, exactly. All right, let's see, let's see, uh -huh. Mr. Chorley. We got the got the lightning bolts energy there. You know, very fitting. The Relor, the Pony Tabletop Score, the Chatat, the Cottony, the Metagross, the Roserade, the Keldeo, the Coronado will, will score. score. Yeah, as well, the, the Heat more. And the Iron Valley. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, the right. Does. Yeah, so one, two, three, four points. Four points. Four points for there Herbert Chorley. All right, you know what? I had a correspondence from Herbert Chorley that said they did not get a pack last month, but we clearly opened one for them. So. Oh, no. Well, I, I don't know. That. I know. Um, hopefully, we'll sort that out. It was opened. Sort that out. Ha <laughs> 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 Anyway, next up we have Blue Malamute for Team Electric, who's been playing well. Playing season. well. Playing, you Same. know, I mean, uh, we we know that Blue Malamute once upon a time I think was a last place finisher. Yes. Yeah, so um, maybe they're do they do they keep going for last place or do they mix it up? I, I would like to think that people who play are going for like bingo. You know, right. like they want to get all. like yeah, they want to be like rookie of the day. They want to get the uh, the quality eighth place, the Big Steve Award, last place, first place. That would be fantastic if someone won a bunch of different levels. I don't think anyone has been a champion at different levels. Not yet. Not no, yet. But it's gonna yeah. happen eventually. It right? Eventually it has to happen. Alright, this is gonna be a two-point pack, sadly, for Blue Malamute. Pulling that Karidon. Karidon has, I feel like, been done a little dirty. I know, I think so too. Yep. And uh, I mean, interestingly enough though, Jay, I think once again we've been able to to just barely skate past the one point pack on the day. So wow. someone from from this session needs to needs to step up for that last place award. Yes, or, or step down as it were. Step down. Alright, next up we have Jeremy. Jeremy! Here we go. Who I always, always, always think of as uh <laughs> In the Wedding Crashers, one yeah. of the characters' name is Jeremy, and one of the girls at some point in time says, Jeremy! Oh, yeah. And <laughs> that's, that's, Vaughn, that's right? what I think yeah. of every single time. Yeah, Vince Vaughn's character is Jeremy. So we got the Giraffe Rig, the Roselia, the Cutie Fly, the Drill Burr, the Foretress, the Full Metal Lab, the Golurk, the Victini, Victini will score, the Shiftry will not, and the Iron Thorns will. will. Going to be a two point pack. Two point pack, losing that, or missing out on one point once again. I know. We had so many last week, and now we're not. I'm not sure if there's just that many more fire cards versus the water card? I know, yeah, that could be it. But I, I think type advantage could really send some people like off the deep end. Yeah, Let's go around. It yeah. Can. All right, so next up we have Mistevios. Mistevios. Boy, we met Mistevios at RTX last year. No, at uh, no. GoFest. Or both. Or both? Both? Could be both. Maybe it was definitely GoFest. Okay. I know that. I can't remember. Maybe RTX as well. RTX isn't happening anymore. Yeah, unfortunately. Lame. Saucington. All right, the Yamper will actually score. The Grubbin will not. Medicham. Tranquil. Unfezant. Send to Scorch Will. Palafilm will not. Electivire will not. Carcoal. And the Walking Wake. The Walking Wake. <laughs> no, I feel like we've pulled this one already. I think Let's we pulled think it last week. week. Yeah. Yeah, just 80 cents for the Walking Wake there. So, so three. Three point. three point pack there for Mastivios. There we go. All right, now we're. I feel like we're getting. We're we we've warmed up, y'all. Yeah. It's time for something to mm -hmm. 
something to happen. We need to see some some action. All right, we've got Christy C. Christy Let's C. See some action, Christy C. Some action. We need, we need like a good training montage that all leads up to this. And there's like loud, slow music playing and like boom, boom. All right, the Carvana, but not like the car dealership. We've got the Ekans, the Turtwig, the Puchania. I don't know. That's the Exadrill. Yeah, there we go. The Delmise. Yeah. There we go. The Electrifier. The Beldum will not score. The Croconaw will not score. And the hey, Maradon That's something, I it's, guess. It's something. Number 122 on the set. It's going, going to be 62 right. cents, so still not going to quite tip uh, us over. Uh, unfortunate. So wait, know. how many did we have then? Just two points? Just two. Yeah, like with the Excadrill? Yes. Yes. Two points. Okay, two yep, points. two points. Man, so even when we're pulling stuff, we're still we're still sitting below. I mean, I think Shadow Loop with that seven points is really the, the commanding Star lead on man. the day. That's crazy. Last week we had so many big numbers coming in. All right, next up we have uh, Justin. Justin. Justin, sorry. Justin. Um, who currently in the Navy, and ironically, Kat accidentally wrote, wrote him into on a team... Oh, oh, oh. Wrote him onto a Team Water card at first. Oops! Ah, okay, so he's not on Team Water, he's on Team Fire. Team Fire. Despite being in the Navy, I get it. I see what happened. Oh, I got you. There's okay. more water, There's but more Team water, Fire. But Team Fire. Don't get it, don't get it, don't get it twisted, just on. Alright, Belden. Heat more will score. Roly Coley, Azumarill, Iron Vanek, Sandy Shocks, Reuniclus, Bianca's Devotion, the Zero Aura will not score, and Relicant. So just Man, a two just point. Two points. When all is said and done. So that's a tie at two point pack uh, for our second rookie of the day. Oh man, oh, you're right. <laughs> so we're gonna have to keep a gonna have to keep a close eye on that one. But yes, we will. Realistically, the rookies so far this season, we we've, we've had two points, one, two, four, two, and two. So the rookies are are. I mean, they're maybe the pack has just really become so established that like showing up as like a newbie in the game, it can be like, a little intimidating. Well, it should be. You know, yeah, we're looking for maybe a better crop. Yeah, here yeah, as we move yeah. forward. Yeah. There, someone can still prove us wrong. Right, yes indeed. No, is it you? Becky Borst up Becky next. Becky Borst. Beck squad, who was already on the show today. Got three points for Team Fire. Becky Borst on Electric here. Yeah, let's see how uh, how she puts up points. She's played very well in the past. Now let's see. All right, so so Becky Borst, we've got the Relor, the Ponytop will score, mm -hmm. the Chat Top, the Cottony. And see, if we're getting grass. No, if we get grass. The Cypher Maniacs code breaking, the Vicavolt, the Grubbin will not score. Oh, oh look at that! Look at that, it's up in the mirror. That's adorable. Mirror attack. Is it's Followed attack. by the Mel metal, 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 which the is the worst card. Only worth two cents overall. So, number 170 on the set. Let's take a peek here at what that does for us. $1.73 for the bronze ore. I two, know. Three, four, it's such so. a fun card. So, uh, so uh, two, three, four points. Four point pack. So, not a huge number, but still better than Beck Squad. There you go. Ooh. So, the rivalry continues with Shots Becky Boris coming out on top this week. This round. But, you know, Electric. but who will come out for the season? All right, next up we have Collared Cow 41. Collared Cow. Collared Cow is like one of, I feel like they're just like, a, they've been such a mainstay in the game. It's true, it's you true. Know? Like a staple. Right, it's, it's a, like a stable. Are even. they putting up giant numbers all the time? Not necessarily, but you know you know them. You know them. You know yeah, them. it's a household name, basically. Right, like, when people go home after this and they're having dinner with their families, they're like, you know, Collared Cow is right. out there. Forget, you know Collared Cow. Don't forget Collared Cow. Of course, right, yeah. Here we go. Rock is pummeling. Mr. Mime. Victini will score. Bronzor. Eerie. Colossal. Boxed order. Roselia. Litton. And Iron Valiant. Oh. So, ugh. Collared Cow puts up a solid three. A solid three. But you know what? I, I, Collared Cow there is going to be leading the herd of, of Team Water a little bit over this next little bit. Because I think we've got four Team Waters in a row oh, in Oh, goodness. Bound, you're so. correct, man. So... Can the flood continue? They have this feels like an interesting strategy to just get like four in a row. I know. Like yeah. one of you's gotta hit it, you'd it's, think. It's like it's like flypaper, you know? It's like just something's gotta stick. Something's gonna stick. Alright, we have a Rachel W. Ra Rachel W. Rachel. Rachel. Yeah, they have a specific Rachel. Get the chull. The chull. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, let's see here. So we got the Eyeball Energy, we got the Wiglet, the Arbok, the C-Dot, the Totodile, the Chinchino, the Future Booster Energy Capsule, the Great Tusk, the Min oh, Minchino. Minchino and Chinchino. Oh, I thought we had it. There we go. Uh, we'll not score, though. The Mudsdale and the Relicant. The Relicant. And I think oh. we've got our first, oh, first one-pointer. Our first one-pointer. Let's see. And that's number 84 on the set. It's our first one so far, I believe. Just 11 cents. Oh, on 11. That one. So write that one down for us, because that could be last place potential. 
Rachel, and shout out to Rachel for being our only one pointer on the day. I'm surprised this relic hand isn't a little better based on its ability. Like it seems, <laughs> like I feel like this will this will have its moment in the sun. This you will be in a regional winning deck before oh, all of us. You I think th so? I'm You're calling, calling it now. Yeah, I'm calling it now. This ability is too cool. It just yeah, it lets you use the. Like, they maybe just haven't made the card it's going to work with yet. Yeah, okay. And people are going to have to be like, wait a second, wait a second. Wait, I, I remember that Relic Anth. They're going to put it in, and then it's going to go. All right, Ben. Rookie of the day, we have Braunt. Braunt. Probably our number, they say, is probably our number one fan in New Zealand. So this pack of cards is going all around the world. That is amazing. Also, I've been to New Zealand before, <coughs> which was, was like one of the most beautiful places right. I've ever been. This is Braunt, like Brontosaurus. Okay, okay. <coughs> So we can assume you're just really tall, I think. Probably. Here we go. Grass Energy. Yamper will score. Grubbin. Medicham. Tranquil. Oh, Mist Energy will score. The Sauce Buck. The Iron Hands will not. The Reuniclus will not. And the Mel oh. Metal. Oh, no. It's so going to be a four-point pack, I believe, there for Braunt. Four-point. Good right. enough for first place in Rookie of the Day, though. There we go. Yes. And honestly, Hi. Nadine's from last week with I four mean, points. Four points, sort of the, the trendy number today. We've had that seven-point pack from Shadow Loop, but otherwise, four is the high bar. I know it's a it's a wild day. I mean something uh, something's got to give. Though. Something's got to give. Where is the A specs? Right. Potential energy is just nothing but building, and Lando Mando is going to round off this little wave of water we've been dealing with here. So we've got three points, one points, one, four points. Man, you'd think someone's going to crack it, although really, as good as anyone's done all day is seven. Yeah, so let's and let's And then see. we're going to be in for, we're going to be in the weeds with grass for four packs at Th least here. That's right. So Lando Mando, let's see what you can do for us. we got the Carvana, the Ekans, the Turtwig, the Puchin, yeah, yeah. Puchin, <laughs> the Great Tusk, the Salvatore, the Bronzong. The great tusk. Oh wait! Oh, what's up? Critical what's hit up? on the great. Oh no, it's not. It's not. Oh, it's not They're the same. They're different great tusks. Oh, oh shoot! Oh, we so had it. close. The C dot does not score, and the for alligator. Oh, the for alligator. Single point back on the board. And just eight cents as wow. well. Wow. So Lando so, Mando trying to four waters in a row, and it turns out that the only one point packs were both in there. I'll go ahead and here's the thing though. I appreciate the fact that Lando fun. Mando is like you know I know that there's a team operation, but I got to do what's best for Lando Mando, right? You know, and Lando Mando is like, I'm in it for, I'm in it for last place, maybe, and maybe that's what I'm going for. That's or right. Or maybe I want to lull people into a false sense of confidence by by underperforming in the beginning, only to like come in and slice and dice at the end. We're gonna put, they're gonna, who's gonna win? The, you know what? The winner of the season, we should, we should give the award of the Iron Crown because that is the. Uh, highest value card is Iron Crown. Ah, oh, there you go. I like it. Go. Who will like wear the Iron Crown? I don't know. Next up, we have Jesse Utile. So like, no one's pulled an Iron Crown at all. Yes, they have. Yes, they have. Okay, pull that okay. full art one. So whoever pulls the the, the Iron, the Iron Crown, Crown, they'll, that's gonna they'll be probably the one. wear it as well. They probably will if we can pull it at all. All right, we have Ghastly, Finizen, Dunspar, Screamtail, Sableye, Iron Valiant, Licky Licky, the Scyther, and the Iron Thorns. So the Scyther doesn't actually score, but the Iron Thorns will be one. One point in number 62 on the set. Yes. Yeah, let's take a peek real quick. Just Hold for, a few of those. Yeah, so 17 cents for that one for Jesse Utile. And, and as we said, we are now in the weeds uh, for, for Team Grass. We got a little, little spree of... I know. Contestants They're here. trying to go uh, tit for tat with water here. Let's see how it shakes out. Now, water had four in a row. Now grass is putting up four in a row. Let's see, or maybe more. Maybe five in a row. Five in a row. Wow, 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 wow. Lots of weeds growing. We've got uh, Lily. 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 Oh, how fitting for Team Grass there. For team Grass, yeah. All right, Lily, let's see what we can do for you. All right, we'll set that aside. We got the Metal Energy, we got the Deerling, the Pydove, the Pineco, the Mawile, the Del Caddy, the Explorer's Guidance, the Iron Hands. Oh, the Del Caddy will give hit. us a critical hit. There we go. The Golark will not score. The and Bramble the Bramble Gas. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Man. The so, Bramble Gas is like a five cent card, so that might have been better for last place. It, but it may just have been two points. just two points for Lily there. Uh, uh, all right, grass is striking out almost as bad as water. So I far. know, I know. We're we're still. I mean, we're still looking to clear seven for our high score of the day. Gosh, that is unfortunate. Let's see. Next up, we do have Chase, who, who has been a champion in the past. Is that right? Is it? I, I believe so. Yes. 
Yeah, back in when? Uh, oh, season see. 9. Season 9 with 44 points? Yeah, Is that the winner? So. I think so. Man, okay. Well, here we go. Can they do it back to back? Can we have a repeat champion? Oh, can you imagine? Man. Can you imagine? That would be that would be quite the win. It would be. Let's see it, Chase. Let's, Let's see. I mean, see. we've seen people, we've seen reigning champs have something special about them. It's like that king's blood, you know? It right? just makes a difference. Well, you wear the Iron Crown, Victini will score, Bronze Orb, Bohemian. Booster Castle, Rapid Dash, Palafin, Mighty Yenna, and the oh. Roaring Moon. So I'm afraid it's okay because it's a three pack season, but we're just off to a three point start. There we go. Just just a little bit of a soft start, but that's okay. That's okay. We'll see. We'll see what the season holds for Chase. Good luck to him. All right. Next up, we have got Tempest Blade. All right, Tempest Blade. What can Ben pull for you? Tempest Blade was on a real rip earlier this year. At season eight, they had 46. Season nine, they had 20. Uh, and then season 10, just four. So we're, we're, we're hitting big. Now we hit low. Can we rise back up? We're about to find out. We got the Wiglet, the Arbok, the Seedot, the Totodile, the Exedril will sc oh, you're score, right. the Screamtail, the Zeraora, the Maridon will score, the Matang will not, and the Drampa. Oh, wow, wow. So, so just three, three points. points. The downward trend continues. Man. We have got to be getting into like the meat of this box. This I, is, eventually. I mean, like, this is so unusual. It is. Like, of all, we've opened so many boxes of this set so far, and like all of them. Them had been like just littered with Packed. holes. I know, yeah. yeah. So this is this is definitely an anomaly so far. I mean, I we've know. had some full arts, but just nothing worth nothing anything. Huge, I know. Like, where's where's our ace specs? Where's our gold cards? Where's our illustrators? It's coming, Jack. Don't it's know. coming. Don't there's... don't lose hope. All right. Next up, we have uh, Bubs. 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 Here we go. Bubs, can you do it for Team Grass? Pull them out of the weeds. We got nope. Oh, we got fire. Them. Oh, you're right. The multiplier. The yep. Multiplier is in. Pikachu. You got a Scyther. You have a Sizzle Feed, a Rescue Board, Rubombi, Hand Trimmer. Oh, wow. Hand Trimmer and Box Oof. Order. Ugh. Oof. It's rough. Padove and a Scizor. Look there at we Scyther go. and a Scizor. Wow. So let's see. Number 111 on the set. Let's see. Just, just a single point, 68 cents for the Scizor. But that means it's going to be a four point pack with the multiplier. And you get that Scyther in there as well. So exactly. some extra honorary J points. There you go. So, Bubs, there you go. Four points coming your way. We'll sleeve up your Scizor as well. Bam, bam. There we go. Not the worst pack, let's see, but we are out of the grass. We're out of the weeds now, off the rough. Wow, so it's like water couldn't do it, grass couldn't do it. Now we got a now we got a little a little representation from Team Fire a little here. Little bit. Doesn't seem like yeah, let's see. Uh we've got Ryan up next for Team Fire. Alright, let's see. What can Ryan, Ryan throw down? Someone's gotta pull something big. We gotta break double digits this I know, episode. At least once. I mean, goodness gracious. We got the So the many drop, people did last time. The Meditite, the Turtonator, the Hoot Hoot, the Beldum, the Mortys, the Shift Tree, the Biancas, the Tranquil will not score, the Delmise will not score. Oh, the Wug Trio! The Wug Trio! Will, oh. I mean, hopefully. I mean, it's, it's hard to feel too confident about it. Feels a like trio. bulky X, but. Yeah, it may even be as low as it can go. I thought we'd already seen it, and it's 33 cents on no! the Wug Trio. A two point pack for Ryan! Oh, gasp! That is rather wow. unfortunate. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, here we go. Aaron and Tony. Aaron and Tony. Be the heroes we need today. Do Team Water proud, you know? Reclaim the lead. It could be it. It could be it. Right? All right. Let's, this is last time. Okay, Aaron and Tony, I think they took home Big Steve last time because they were tied with Games Bun for Big Steve. Okay, okay. That's what happened. Okay, Grass, Mudsbray, Ghastly, Finizen, Dunsparce, Bolton, Mudsdale, Explorer's Guidance, Whimsicott, does score, Macargo scores, and Bramblegast. I want to say, outside of the Mel Metal, these are the three worst cards in the set. It might just be. I'm pretty so. sure these are all five cent cards. So this is three points. My gosh. We could call that a, a royal flush. Oh! Cue the, <laughs> cue the flushing noise. Poor Ethan is like, I hate when you guys give me extra work. Yeah. yeah. But I'm sure you guys at home are like, wow. What what production value? What production value? <laughs> what, what, what is that? No one opens cards like this. Stock toilet flush noise. Probably comes in iMovie. Maybe so. Yeah. All right. Next up, we've got Josh or Yosh. Hard to say. 
Josh. So we've had we've had Ryan from Team Fire, and now we got Josh. Yes. From Team Fire. Damn it. It's like I'm better, I'm getting concerned that we're getting this close to the end of the box. I know. You I know. know. Like it's, where, it's, I mean, where are the points, man? Where are the points? Don't, don't, <clears> doesn't the uh, the Pokemon Company know that we play this game? We got the Deerling, the Pida, the Pineco, the Mawile, the Iron Valiant, the Sharpedo, the Metagross, the Girafferig will not score. It looks like something's peeking out there. Mr. Mime will not score, and the Iron, Iron Boulder. Boulder. The Boulder. Ninety nine. Like my set. Let's see. I'm we're like we're 51 cents. We're like we're pulling we're pulling stuff, but like not pulling stuff. What is happening? So what what was that total? Uh, just just one one point fifty one cents. Wow, there. Wow, I know. So still still I mean you know it's like we said earlier, Shadow Blue doing better, doing better. You I, know? I mean uh, arguably as well as anybody could have done today. So I mean so far that's the truth. All right, next up we've got Mark Mark, and my card says they always hit the Mark Mark. So let's see, let's put it to the test. Mark All right. Mark, Mark Mark, Team Grass. Is this it? Not to be conclude, not to be confused with Mark coming up later in today's episode of Team Fire. Oh, so I see. Is, we I have see. Mark Mark and Mark. Wow, a lot of marks happening here. But Mark Mark known to hit the spot marks. Bam! All right, dark tear drop. The Elgium, the Melton, the Rapska, the Iron Jugulus, the Full Metal Lab, the Cottony, the oh, Metagross! There we go! Ooh, now that looks like something. And a Feraligator to boot. All right, or to booty, see, I let's should see. say. Number 178 has a good one. That was a good one. Number 178 on the set. $5.23 for okay. that Metagross. Okay, well, you know what that's going to total us at, Ben? Seven points. Seven. Seven. As good as we can do today, apparently, it, it for is, Mark Mark. It is what today had available for us in terms of points. You We're know, seeing it. I mean, I know last last week. I mean, we had we had some big double digit hitters. And who? What what team is Shadow Loop on? Shadow Loop is on Team, team Grass. Yes, so, well, I mean, Grass woke up today in last place. Last place? Oh, uh, last Team place. Grass no. is in in third with thirty four points. I think so. when they said let's wake up and be the top two people, they didn't mean seven and seven. I don't think that they meant that. No, I don't think that they, they meant didn't that. Think it's, not gonna, is... it's not going to tilt the scales as much as they want it to. No. Yeah, I don't think so. Next up, we've got Nixie Claw for Team Fire. Can fire recover? Okay, am I up? You're up. You're okay. up. We had the Metagross. That was that was something. That was something. Still zero ace specs. This is what happened last week. We had none until like the back of the, the box. The back of the box. Maybe they're just tucking them in last. Maybe yeah. they got that one guy at the factory that just goes and manually does it. Yeah. That has to be it. There's no other explanations whatsoever. All right, so we got the the dark teardrop energy, the Breloom, the Roly Coly, the Heat, heat more, the scores. Yamper. Oh, yep, the Yamper as well, right? Yep, yep. Okay, good save, good save. The Iron Jugulus, the Lycan Rock, the Salvatore, the Totodile will not score. Score the Sawsbuck will not score in the Roaring, Roaring Moon. Moon. Wow. So An just, embarrassing three just points. Three points. For Nixie Claw. There we go. All right. They're coming to you. Let's see. Next up, we have our. No, no, I was going to say Rookie of the Day. That's not the case. That's we have one case. more in the in the wind somewhere. We do indeed. in the wings. But this is Radiant Shadow. Radiant well, Shadow. Can you pull a Radiant uh, Pokemon? Well, there's no Radiant Pokemon in the set. But, but something that does have Radiance to it. Yes, know? Radiance. You, you understand what we mean, of course. Exactly. Here we go. Bam. Rock is pummeling. We've got the Snob, the Chew, the Scyther, Sizzlepede will score, Perilous Struggle, Colossal, Unfazan, Rescue Board, the Arbok, and the Whimsicott. Chew. So just two points two again. Points. Radiant Shadow's only ever opened two packs. They've both been two points. Let me grab that Scyther oh, real yes, quick. Oh, yes, 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 indeed. Don't want to deprive somebody in such an otherwise unexciting pack of your beautiful signature. <laughs> exactly. There you go. <laughs> Get the signed Scyther that's for right, you. That's right, that's right. Enjoy, enjoy. Yeah. Probably the most valuable thing you got in there, really. All right, next up we've got Karen. Just Karen. Just Karen. All right, Karen. Ben, how many packs are left in this box? Like, Four? Like five. Five, five maybe? packs. I'm expecting out of these five packs, two ace packs. That's All what right. I'm expecting. All right, all right. Let's see. We got the Fireball Energy, so Who's that's a say? multiplier, right? Yes. The Metatite, the Terminator, Terminator. the Hoot Hoot, the Beldum, the Roserade, the Keldeo, the Iron Juggleos, the Shroom will score. score, the Bronzor will not, and oh, the Explorer's something. Guidance! Here there we, we go! go. So, so right. much of this card. What does he even do? Look at the top six cards of your deck and put two of them in your hand. That's terrible. You know what, dude? I'm going to take it. $6.70. Dude, seven, eight, nine, 18 points! 18 points. That is what we needed. Karen! 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 We broke. Thank you. We broke double digits. I, this is this this is almost the worst box. It, I mean, it may still be. It might. I mean, you're right. We're, yeah, we're not we're not batting a thousand over here. But, but you know what? Grass. They've all the top three places are all grass today. That's true. So they're That's doing true. something. They're they're 
putting some points back up there. They, right. I mean, they, they they definitely got together in the locker room. There was a good pep talk. They're showing up. They're, they're making the best of a bad day. Right. It's like playing in the rain, you know? It's like nobody's going to like put up their like ultimate performance. We got a double. Back to back multipliers here for Team Grass, the Nuzleaf, the Manchino, the Rock Ruff, the Litten. The Litten. Go Lurk, Shame and Fortune. The there Prime! It is. Ben, <gasps> the Prime Catcher. Is, it, is this the one? This is the one! Oh my gosh. Oh, and, oh my gosh. Grass has come out swinging at the back. They were saying, let's let's rally back. This is going to be like a. This is going to be first place, actually. $31.05. That's going to be 32. 32. 33. 34. Which is going to be a 68 point pack. Oh goodness my gosh. For Hannah. Gracious. Uh oh. Goodness gracious, Hannah. That's enough for first place, and I want to say, what is the team competition looking like? I mean, that has got to be that putting has got Team Grass, put grass firmly that, in Because they're spot. over a, over 100 now, at least, at minimum. At minimum. Min wow, so grass. impressive. So far today, has come out 68, 18, 7, and 7. Wow. And All four it, top packs today. Yes. Wow, Team Grass. And I mean, like, even and what's wild is they had that run of five Grass members in a row, and they were all not good pulls. So go. these are all the grass members who have been out there fighting, you know, in the trenches by themselves. The prime catcher. That wow. does it. We knew the ace it's, we said it last week. The prime the the ace specs would be the story of of the season. Of the season yes, and so far right. it's shaping up to be exactly that cuz Steven had the maximum belt last week. All right, so next up we've got Sean. Sean! Sean for Team Electric. All right. Maybe Sean can put up something big here. Let's see. Let's see. Did I open the last pack? I open the palm catcher. Did I, you open the palm I don't catcher? remember. Okay, that's all right. It's all right. Things happen so fast. Things happen. Here. You know, I was so excited. I know. I know. Caught up in the mania, as oh, it were. Let's see. All right. So we got the we got the lightning bolt energy there. We got the Mr. Mon, the Rachi, the Victini will score, the Bronze War, the Shift Tree, the Bianca's Devotion, the Reunculus, the Relor will not score, the Frostmouth will score, but the Scizor, Scizor will. Scizor will. So it's gonna be a two point pack. I am afraid for Sean. For Sean. You do get a Scizor, so that's nice. It's part of the Scyther line, perhaps. You know, look, this thing evolves. Boop, 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 boop. Right, that. No, like I, that. I got it because there's a site. Site there, right there. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Exactly. Yeah. You're welcome for that quick uh, demonstration of how evolution works. All right, Ben. Next up is Mark. Mark. This is our final rookie of the day contestant. They need to beat what? Four points. Doesn't seem that hard. Let's see. So yeah, not to be confused with Mark. Mark. No, this is regular Mark for Team Fire. They have three Harry Potter tattoos. Whoa! That's three more than me. I yeah. have to tell you. Yeah. No, but you, but you have no tattoos so at all. That's zero at yeah, all. Yeah, right. I don't, that'd be, they're also just three tattoo, three more tattoos than me at all. Right, right. But presumably, they, they might have more than three. That's Just true. three of them are Harry Potter. Bam, all right, electric energy for Mark. Can we beat four points and go to the Olive Garden? Let's find out. Melton, Eerie, Sun to Scorch. Oh, oh, we're at four. We're at five. We're at six. Oh, we did it. Yes, yeah, That's one, crazy. two, three, four, five, six. You were exactly six right. Six points, points for Mark. Wow. Rookie of the day. Let's write it down. So far, rookie of the season. Taking down Nadine's position and Bront's position at four points. Ba-bam. Well done there, to Mark. There it is. Bam. You're Enjoy. heading to the garden. You're heading to the garden. <laughs> it's nice when it's the last place person because I don't have to go find them again. Or it's the last person to get. That's true, yeah, because we know we know yeah. for certainly. I know. I know exactly where you're at, Mark. All right. We've had an exciting last few packs here. We have Anna. Who's up next? Or I don't know, Anna or Anna. Anna, Anna. It's Anna. <laughs> it's Anna. <laughs> right? Is it Anna? Anna. Anna. Anna? It's Anna. Anna. <laughs> it's SCB fan Anna. It's SCB. Yeah, we literally, we, we, we know her. Anna every, <laughs> every month over on. We do, yeah, this is this is the EK Sco, EK Scow. I know. It's like, we make too many Frozen videos to not say Anna. I know, yes. All the time. Yes. It's like, at some point, in my, my whole life, I never would have said Anna. And now, that's now you I can't can not. Say. All right, here we go. Now, if my if my own predictions are correct, one of these last two packs has got to have another ace spec. Let's see. Let's, Let's see. see. Charger Bucks. Slugma. Slugma. Vikavolt. Latias. Great Tusk. Oh! Critical hit on the Vikavolt with the Skitty and... Oh! Up our walking wake! Okay. Fantastic. That's got to be worth something. Number 189. If only it were the Illustrator Rare. I know. Just $2.91 for the walking so, wake. But still, that's going to be three, four, five. It's going to be a ten point pack. Dang! That's okay. Not bad. All right. Okay, Team Water having like a little bit of a surge right there. No, no, at the they're end. like, wait a second, who who opened what? 
For how many points? I know, I know. I mean, it, and it's like, for Team Water, you know, like walking back to the bench, I mean, they can't help but cheer, but it's also like Team Grass is over there, like, they're just, you know, they got arms crossed, they got their game They're, they're, they're holding up that like, prime catcher, like, yeah, yeah, what up? Yeah, what up? Come on, you see this? All right. Oh, man. All right, our final pack of the day. Sydney will. Now, I'm going to be so psyched if this has an ace spec in it because it will make my prediction come true. All right. Let's um, see. Let's see. It's our last pack. Is there last pack magic to be had for Sydney? And we got the Rockus Pummeling. We got the Torah Cat. We got the Grubbin, the Frost Moth, the Noctowl, the Palafin, the Screamtail, the Heavy Baton, the Dun Sparse Will Score. Oh, the, the Junchino! Junchino! This is actually worth something, too. If okay. I'm not there we go. And the Dun oh, Sparse. Oh, it's a critical hit on the Dun Sparse. Okay. <gasps> okay. Okay, oh. Team Fire was like, we don't want to be left out. Uh -oh. Let's see. 183 on the set. What could it do for us? How exciting. $13.77. So that's 14. 14. 15, 16, 17 times two is a 34 point pack. Wow. Wow. Right at the last wow. second, Fire comes in hot on the critical hit Chinchino. So impressive. So impressive. I mean, you've got to imagine that that's going to shake up the team score just a little bit. A I mean, little bit, yeah. Very impressive. I mean, it, there's no doubt. I mean, just looking at the scoreboard, it's like we've had nothing above a seven. And then in like the last like what, six packs, six we had packs. an 18, a 68, a two, a six, a 10, and a 34. So all all of the magic happened oh, man. right here at the end. Thank right you guys end. for sticking with us that all was the way wild. through. That Chinchino is Look absolutely that. beautiful. And rarely well. do you see the normal cards pulling a lot of weight like this because we don't have any type advantages for them. But they join together with a critical hit. The dun 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 sparse. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Literally. The dun 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 sparse. Yes. Wow. Amazing. Absolutely incredible. Well, there you go. Fire like saves saves a little face there at the end to yeah, not is, fall totally out. I don't know who, I have no idea where the team competition is going to land after all this. I know, it's good. we're going to have to go to the math, but I feel like, I mean, we had a couple people knock on to like that top five of the leaderboard there. I'm trying but to see. Grass was just so, so Grass showing up was, today. Yeah, they were all over. I'm trying to see coming into the day. Grass's top scores were 10, 8, 10, 8, 7, 5, and 4. Um, so, yeah, you're at least going to take down. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know how the math is going to shake out. But, I mean, with your highest coming into the day being at 10, that uh, that 68 is really going to do some 58-point some, yeah. some lifting. Yeah, so, plus the 18 right before that. Right, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, there you go. great day if you're Team Grass. Uh, excited to see what the leaderboard looks like. As ever, guys, we have opened up some more spots. If you are interested in becoming a Box Breakers patron and seeing us open a pack for you, you can head on over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming and select any of the box breakers tears but otherwise until next time Hariyama! Hariyama.